last episode, we met Sheena and Alex, coaches of the Diamond Display Team at Arabian Gymnastics Club, who introduced us to the exciting world of display gymnastics as they prepare to take to the floor. Since we last saw the Diamond Display Team, they have had lots of time to discuss their routine and the next steps to shine at the floor. In this episode, we will get to meet some of the gymnasts in the team and hear their stories and their experience in gymnastics. Hi guys, welcome back everyone. How's everyone? Nice. Fabulous. All right, we've got about one minute more of the routine that we're gonna to learn today. We're gonna to learn our tumbling section and then we're gonna learn the dance that we did on Wednesday night. We're kind of gonna put you into some places today, okay? And see how it looks. And, but yeah, if we get through that minute today, I'll be really, really happy. So Jessa has been with us since she was a young girl. She started out in one of our one hour recreational classes and I was actually one of her first coaches. And when we started our original display team, Jessa was one of the gymnasts on it. So she's been with us literally since the start of display. I'm trying to think of, like I'm trying to rack my head. I'm like, there's definitely loads of funny stories about Jessa. Do you think I can remember one? No. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. So I was a competitive gymnast up until the age of 17, and then I gave up women's artistic gymnastics competitively, and I just stuck to the display route of gymnastics. She's always been really, really enthusiastic about gymnastics. She always wanted to learn. Uh, new skills, she was constantly flipping around the gym. So my journey in dance began when I was three years old. I went to ballet. So it was a tough decision to make between dancing and gymnastics, but I inevitably picked dancing, and then that eventually led me on to get a place in Inchicore College, which was the dance course. No nice hands. That's gorgeous. It's really pretty, isn't it? And when she finished school, she was here full time. Then we lost her. <laughs> then she moved to Disneyland to become a princess. So after spending two years in Paris, I decided to leave. I wanted to be with my family and my friends again. And as soon as I came home, the girls were more than happy to give me my job back and to like put me straight back on the display team. There was not even a question about it. It was there for me waiting, so it was great. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go over the second dance just to make sure we're all doing things in the right count. I know we all know it, but just to make sure that everyone's doing it at the same time, okay? Arabian is definitely part of my family. Like, it really feels like home being here, especially like display gymnastics, because all the girls have been on display for so many years, and it is really like a family bond that we have, and it's really nice. She's just brilliant. She's so enthusiastic. She's great with the younger kids, great with the older kids as well. You know, I can kind of say to her, Jessa, there's 20 seconds of music that needs to be filled. Do your thing and she'll come up with a fantastic dance and uh, teach it to the kids. So yeah, she's brilliant. We love her. <laughs> we were very close. Well done, we were very close. All right, we do the turn. Can you hear the one, two, three, crisscross down up in the music? Yes. How high do you want her hand? Head level or like lasso level? <laughs> Jenny started gymnastics in one of our camps um, and it was apparent straight away how talented she was. She walked into the gym and I think immediately we, we were like, wow, she's amazing. So she joined our rec classes and then very, very swiftly moved on to one of our squads and very, very swiftly moved on to a kind of high performance pathway. At the age of 10, I started on the Olympic Start Squad, which was a program for girls who would have been in age for the Olympics in 2020. I was training five days a week and that was like 20 hours. As I got older, it got way more challenging because obviously I was in secondary school now, so my homework would be pushed back till gymnastics finished at about nine. It was just a lot. As she became a teenager, things became a little bit harder, you know, like giving up 20 hours of your week to come down here, train for four hours a night, you know, it was really, really tough for her. The timing wasn't right for her, she couldn't commit to it anymore. When I left gymnastics, it was obviously a huge deal because that's all I've ever known. So it wasn't an easy process to like decide that that was final. It relieved a bit of stress, but when I think back on it, I wish I had stayed a little bit longer. I just would have like, loved to see the potential I could have reached. 
I kind of didn't really see her for a year or so, I'd say. And then she slowly came back to us. You know, she'd come down to see the kids and watch a training session. And then maybe she'd be down twice a week to watch a training session. And eventually we kind of said to her, you know, would you come back as a coach? Would you consider it? Which thankfully she did. I couldn't stand there watching the kids do it and myself not doing it. It just brought back all the memories. And I was like jealous watching them be able to do stuff that I was able to do. I kind of said to her, would you be interested in doing display? You know, I know you kind of miss the sport. And she said yes, and we haven't looked back. <laughs> yes, ladies, and can we use a cue if you're about to fall instead of just... Girls, lean back. See, so you put your hand behind you. Like, you're like this. Yeah? Like, you're, like a lot of your weight is actually on your hands. So Molly came to us when she was two years old and she started in our gym talk class, which is a parent and toddler class. It's really fun and you make new friends that you'll have forever. It's just so social and it's just nice to be doing something different and not too competitive. Molly would be one of our gymnasts who is coached by like a WAG squad who happens to also be on the display team, which I think is brilliant, you know, to have that kind of coach and gymnast relationship. And then when it goes to display team, it turns into teammates and friends, um, which is so lovely to see. And I definitely think the younger girls look up to the older girls in the group in that way. You know, they can kind of, their coaches are here training them for three hours, then they're their friends for the next era. And I think it's a great way for the kids to see, God, I could be here for the next 10 years. You know, if they're doing it till they're 20, or 25 that I'm going to be here till I'm 20 or 25 so yeah it's brilliant in the next episode we dive deeper into the preparations the team are making to get ready to take to the floor socks ladies give us socks <laughs>